Okay, so we decided to do a little experiment with uh, some alkaline water. We've been uh, learning a lot lately about the bottled alkaline water like Essentia, Neo, some waters that you can find at the store that they add electrolytes to or um, minerals to to make it turn alkaline. And first I wanted to just do a pH test and compare it to our um, Kangen water, which we make with our our uh, Enagic uh, SD501 machine right here, and we just uh, just made this water fresh, and we just got this bottle of water at the store about 45 minutes ago. Opened it, and we're messing around with it um, earlier, doing some experiments. But this uh, has been open for maybe 30 minutes. So it's uh, still very fresh, and I was a little surprised when I tested the pH of these waters compared to the Kangen water. And then I have tap water here also, just uh, for a frame of reference. So uh, the essential water, they say, is 9.5 pH, and the Neo also, they say, is 9.5 on the pH scale. So let's just uh, use our pH drops here and uh, back check it. So this is the tap water. So we got just above neutral, which is right where it should be. But remember, they uh, they add lye and ammonia to raise the pH after they put the chlorine and the and the fluoride in there to um, make it clean. So there's the tap water. Here is the 9.5 Essentia water. And you can see the pH is actually a little bit less than the tap water. Certainly not a 9.5. I would say that's maybe closer to a 7.5 to an 8. Um, so that's the essential water that we just got. Now, I've gotten essential water before and tested it, and it's come out to be a 9, but apparently that's not always the case. And how can you be sure unless you test it? Um, next we got the Neo water. Little bit better than the Essentia, probably closer to the tap. Looks like about an eight, maybe eight and a half. And then we have our Kangen water that we just made. You can see that immediately goes to a nice Pretty purple color.